voice in your speakers right now. That's us, Nick and Sean Thomas from the HQ Boys bringing you That Rules in the Dark. Never mind, it's in the light. That was a little joke I gave to you, but a uh, <laughs> weekly podcast where we take the suck out of your Mondays. And as always, this episode is brought to you by Espionage VR. If you need to freshen up your digs, your look, you go to espionagevr.com, use code HQ15, get 15% off some of the coolest video game shirts on the web. You like Final Fantasy? You get this shirt. I've never played it, and I look pretty good. Um, you want... Ooh, the spooky shirts are gone, everybody. But you got to wait for the next drop. Don't know what it's going to be yet. And uh, just remember to use code HQ15 and you can look as good as us, which is about a 3 out of 10. And you guys know them. You love them. Manscaped, baby. You can go to manscaped.com slash HQ with no vowels and use code HQ20. You get you 20% off and free shipping on the performance package kit. That gives you the trimmer to trim your balls with, the lawnmower. That gives you uh, the crop... Reviver the what's it crop, crop reviver duster. crop duster and the crop crop reviver crop they got the crop reviver yeah and the crop duster no the, that's a ball th- the ball reviver the ball reviver crop it's the <laughs> crop reviver anybody remember it's in the box big Nick, do we get the box <laughs> the ball the ball the ball <laughs> duster no <laughs> Is that one closed? Yeah. Fuck. I, the I, ball. I don't think we have. Look it up. I don't think we have. It's, any they've got a few things in the box. The poor. <sighs> it's the Crop Reviver. Manscaped kit. Crop Reviver. Ball toner. Ball toner. That's what it is. But there's another one. It's it's a ball toner and the Crop Reviver and the Foot Duster. Foot Duster. Okay. <laughs> anyway, everybody. You'll also get the Weed Whacker 3.0, which I use daily to trim my freaking. Every day. Close. I got long nose hairs. So do I. Um, it it rules so hard. It's like it's the one sponsor that I use every day because I can't wear every shirt from you all use, those guys every day. But you're the next sponsor. You're gonna say you also use every day, except for when I don't. I didn't play on my computer for like two days. That is why you've been so grumpy. <laughs> It's true. Uh, but anyway, please go to manscaped.com slash HQ and use code HQ20. Manscaped really backed us up, helped us out a lot, and uh, they're the reason we get to make so much cool shit for you guys. That's true. Also, we want to give a big shout-out to Elgato for giving us gear we need to make great stuff for you. And this week, we got a jam-packed episode. We've well, got a few topics to cover. So let's start off with a That Sucks. Yep. I love how when That Sucks started, it was like, we'll do it once every couple of weeks, every and now month, it's like yeah. every week. <laughs> yeah. Um, so my, my, that sucks for this week. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong. This started like at the quarantine time. I'm pretty sure, but there's this massive building. If you're on the highway in in LA on the 10, this big ass wall. And when we first moved here, they had horizon zero dawn on it. Okay. And it was like the coolest poster of all time. Yeah. Then they got God of war up there. Yeah. Then they got Spider-Man. Yeah. They got overwatch. Yeah. Then coronavirus hits that wall is just shitty it just looks like something that's had tape put on peeled off a million times and that was like the coolest thing because when we first moved here it's not when we like first got into video games but i think you know that was around the time we like started going to e3 and like it was just so much it was so fucking sick to see this massive ass video game billboard and uh now i really felt recognized as a gamer dude i'm saying and now it's just like a shitty tape wall um yeah i think we've even got a picture to show you guys oh yeah big neck hit hit desktop for me all you audio listeners I'm gonna, I'm trying. All right. for all you audio listeners uh we record this show live on twitch.tv slash the hq boys every monday so you could get um the visual aspect of the show too if you come but yeah i remember i was driving on 10 west every day mm. and that yeah, this isn't the real wall. It's just the closest thing Big Nick could find. It's very... This is basically what it looked like, though. And as you you can't really see what's behind it, so it doesn't matter. But it was really cool to be... You know, I mean, it wasn't cool to be stuck in traffic, but it was at least cool to see Spider-Man on the wall. Nice to be advertised, too. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just kind of miss it. That's no, I, I think it sucks that it's just a shitty wall now. Um, did that happen around coronavirus time? So here's the thing. I haven't driven anywhere in a year basically yeah so i don't know i oops sorry i think that it was before that Mm. i think that it was uh because they they did start doing other ads on there like i was saying earlier they were doing nike ads which wasn't like the worst thing because sometimes the nike ads can look cool um but it it was kind of split between like playstation and nike for a bit yeah um but i don't remember the most recent one because it's been like bare for so long yeah 
I I don't know if it exactly lines up with coronavirus, but we can. I'll I'm, blame it on yeah. that. Fuck it. It it's not here to defend itself. So yeah, I'll take that. What's your that sucks? <clears throat> I've got too many to count. Pick one. Only one. Yeah. I wake up with a migraine basically every day. I think that sucks. That does. I sucks. get migraines a lot. I take Excedrin for them sometimes. Um, and I try if I get a migraine like late in the day, I try not to take Excedrin because it's got caffeine in it, and I don't want to be up all night. I'm going to be up all night anyway. If you listen to the HQ cast, I talk about having insomnia. Um, but I, why add to it with a caffeine pill? Um, but yeah, the migraines every day definitely a bummer. I think it comes from too much screen time, mm-hmm. um, dehydration, mm-hmm. which I I only drink water, but I definitely don't drink enough water. Mm-hmm. Uh, the AC sometimes makes me feel like I have a cold in the morning. Mm-hmm. I, my thing fell down, so I got to put it back up, but mm-hmm. that definitely adds to it. And I take melatonin to sleep, and maybe that's part of it. Mm-hmm. Don't know the science on that, but uh, I got to wake up, and I don't. Here's, here's the real that sucks of the that sucks. To take Excedrin, you got to eat with it. And I never have an appetite for a few hours in the morning, so I wake up with a migraine, got to wait a few hours to take the Excedrin and eat because I don't just want to take the Excedrin and make my body feel where it's a whole, it's a, it's a circle of life, but of my misery, a circle of misery. Mm. Well, that's my, that sucks. Well, this episode, well, I think will remove your migraine. It'll be very, Oh well, it's gone now. Oh, I, cause I took the Excedrin and ate a uh, curry cup of noodles. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so this week's episode, everybody, this is our honorary 11th episode yeah. where we rank our previous 10 episodes. Yeah. Our, our topic for that rules, something that we think rules. Is that is rules? That rules? <laughs> and uh, so we're just going to go down the list of every episode we've ever done. Okay. And we're going to rank them. Starting, are we, we going to go in chronological order? From the first one, yeah. Okay. Got the list on my phone on the Let, podcast app. Excellent. Um, and uh, if you guys agree or disagree with our ranking, get fucked. Um, but or also, let us know in the comments. Put yeah. your ranking of our 10 <laughs> episodes of that rules <laughs> in the comments. And I'll, I'll go reply to everyone and tell you why you're wrong, probably. Okay. So episode number one. Yep. Is Pokey the best food money can buy? This episode we talk about. Hang out, turn the volume down. This episode we talked about Pokey and coffee. Pokey and coffee. Yep. Here's what I'll say. Yep. Given that this is the only contender in the race so far, I'll put it at number one. Okay. That's fair. It's rank one. Now, here's the other thing. Yep. Anything that you introduce to me as a contender. Yep. Big shoes to fill because pokey's really good. That's a good point. But for me, I don't really like coffee. Mm. So your topic's kind of taken but, away. But we're, for, but we're not. But bit. we're not taking it. We're not taking topic by topic. It's not what's the best topic. It's what was the best episode. I know, but the coffee is taking away a little bit from the episode. If there's an episode later that I like both things. Okay. Episode number two. Yep. What's the best milk alternative? This week we talked about hype milk. Yep. And uh, I talked about Final Fantasy fourteen. Okay. I'm thinking coffee and pokey beats that one out probably. But I love milk. Let's we gotta but, think but about this. You for love a milk alternatives. Yeah. More than real milk. Well, we're gonna I'm gonna do a mm. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say it? I can't say it. Just just hold it. We'll just hold it. We gotta, <laughs> so, we gotta okay. give some of okay, hold on. Too. Coffee coffee and pokey and coffee. Yeah. Versus yep. milk and Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah. Now, for me, three of those things, for all four of those things go great together. Play a game of Final Fantasy fourteen with my pokey and coffee with milk in it. That's great. Holy shit. Undefeated but, combo. But be me, I never want to drink milk with my pokey, so yeah. that's there's no synergy there. Yeah. And yeah. I don't drink coffee or play Final Fantasy fourteen despite wearing a Final Fantasy eight. eight shirt. Okay. I will put pokey episode... As number one, milk episode is number two because in okay. the milk episode, I had to recognize that Oatly was being evil. Well, that that actually happens in episode three. Wowza! <laughs> so I have to recognize that I praised Oatly <laughs> without realizing they were evil. And first episode I th- is brave of I, us for starting a new show. I think episode three is going to blow it out of the water we're, for you. We're going to find out. So right now we've got episode one, episode two. Yeah, episode three mm-hmm. is. Is reading comic books on your phone the future of comics? On this episode, we talked about reading Batman on your phone yep. and going to LCS games. Oh, that's easy, number one. I think that's number one, yeah. So, okay, so, so we're going episode three, one, two. Three, one, two. Dude, 
You know what I think about a lot lately? Hmm. Reading more Batman comics on my phone. Did you you stopped? A little bit because I was watching Gotham. Oh, true. And so I like kind of was getting my Batman fill. And not that I thought. Uh, so the the one that I stopped. Here's a little update for all you people wondering what Batman comics I've been reading, that have been listening since episode three. Um, I was reading Nightfall, <clears throat> which is uh, Bane and Batman, and I stopped like a third of the way through that story arc, which is there's a lot of issues. Mm-hmm. It's a long story, and it's written by a lot of different authors, so it's kind of messy. Mm-hmm. And I stopped because it it was honestly a little much. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been trying to decide, and as you know, I have analysis paralysis Mm -hmm. where I can't make decisions. Mm -hmm. Um, If I want to finish nightfall before going and reading stories that I want to read more, or if I want to give myself to freedom to read the things I actually want to read, which for you at home, you might think that's an easy decision, but for me sitting in this chair, a horrible decision (laughs) that I have to make. Episode four, that rules takes a trip to Japan. This week, Nick and Sean take a little trip to Japan where they talk about their favorite anime and Japan's greatest tourism game, Yakuza. So I talked about Hunter x Hunter? Yeah. And you talked about Yakuza? Yeah. That one's got to be number one. Sorry you, So you, you like Yakuza more than LCS? Yeah. But that's League. You like League more than Yakuza? Do I? Yakuza never makes me upset. You like Yakuza more than Zach? Your friend Zach. That's that's not what I said. <laughs> it's what I'm asking you. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, so hold on. If we're if we have to fill four oh, spots, one yeah. and two are last. Yep. And now we're between three and four for first and second. Yep. Hunter Hunter is so good. Yeah. Do I like Hunter Hunter more? Here's what I'll say. It's called That Rules Takes a Trip to Japan, and I like Japan way more than I like LCS, like hands down. Hunter Hunter is so good. <laughs> Those are tied for first for now. Okay. Producer says no. You've got to choose. I mean, I, I'm choosing Japan. I have to. I have to go with with Batman LCS as number one because I don't play Yakuza. But now you're. As a whole episode, half the episode doesn't pertain to me. You know what I mean. I guess that's true, but but it's not about whether or not it pertains to you because each of our pieces almost never pertain to the other one. It's the episode as a whole, which is the better episode. I think one where we talk about Yakuza and Hunter Hunter is probably a better one where we talk about League of Legends and Batman. I'm going with Batman. Okay. Well, we disagree on this, and we have to we have to rank it. We'll sort it at the end. We need a tiebreaker, actually. We need the tiebreaker from Big Nick. <laughs> so what? What is it, Big Nick? Would you? Big would Nick you, looks like he shit his pants. Actually, actually, Big Nick, do me a favor. Look, look to the chat. Has the chat voted on anything? If they had to choose between episode four, yeah, that if if they had to choose between episode four, that rules takes a trip to Japan, or episode three is reading comic books on your phone, the future of comics, which would they choose? Someone typed. That's because Bill loves Yakuza, dude. You ever thought of like my hip hop beat of them? Yeah. No one else? No one else says anything. Okay. So, honorary vote. Japan goes number one. Batman goes number two. Uh, Pokey's milk three. Yeah. Milk is four. I'm, I'm keeping track. Episode five. The new Tony Hawk remaster is amazing. Uh, I talked about Hanzo and Aoki, and you talked about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater remaster one and two. I'm it, cool with this one going. I'm, like, thi- I'm thinking it goes below. Below Pokey. Above. Yeah. What was yeah. The, what's the last episode right now? Oh, I don't know. What's the milk? Topics? Milk alternative. Milk alternative. Yeah, I, I think I think that's where it. Deserves what was your to go. topic for that one? Hanzo and Aoki. No, for the milk alternative one. Final Fantasy fourteen. I'll put. I'll put Tony Hawk above that. 
Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's it's second, second to last. last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Episode six is Kingdom Come actually Jay Z's best album. This is rank one. Uh, <laughs> Nick talked about Kingdom Come. I talked about Apple products. This one, gonna be honest, kind of a throwaway episode for me. <laughs> we can put it last. Yeah, it's fine. Below milk. What was your topic with the milk episode? <laughs> Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah. I'll, put, I'll put it below. I'll put it. I'll put it last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So episode six is last. Okay. Episode seven. Yeah. Sean's cat got out of the house. Oh, dark episode. This episode, we talked about my cat getting out of the house. Yep. Um, and then you talked about your closet. Organization. Yeah. I'm thinking this one also kind of a dud. <laughs> <laughs> well then, everybody, how many episodes can we make dead last? <laughs> This sh- Why didn't you guys tell us the show was getting worse every episode? I okay, felt hold on, it. hold on. Episode <laughs> episode one. Episode here, here, B- Big Nick, just tell us, tell us to the ranking. Yeah, <laughs> 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 we- and, and by the way, this one is our eleventh episode. <laughs> in case you Always wanted to know. Get no. No. Uh, so, uh, number one, as of now, you have episode four. Okay. Then three. Okay. Then one. Okay. Then five. Yep. Then two. Yep. Then six. Yep. Then seven. I wish you told us the topics. Yeah. I don't no. have them. Yeah, I, I think, I think that's right. No. What's, I, what's I, in last place right now? Sean's cat got out of the house. What if? And that's below what's the best milk alternative. <laughs> that, okay, okay. I don't think milk alternative can be last. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, Oct- uh, October 10th, episode 8. Genshin Impact is really free to play. I talked about Genshin Impact, and Nick talked about the benefits of walking and how he wants to be better about going out more. <laughs> Which I didn't do. Um, I I think I would put this above the milk episode probably. Yeah. Milk is two. For episode two, right? Yes. So yeah. That is your third. So the yeah. Last. So so it's it's Genshin Impact and walking, milk and Final Fantasy, and then my cat got out of the house. <laughs> I think that checks out. Okay. Now this one is actually a really good one. Okay. We came back for for an yeah. episode. Yeah. We yeah we, we turned it on. <laughs> Do you p- eat PB and J open face? This is yes. where we talk about open face PB and J right, right. and rap beefs. Right, that's a good. I, this one's like pretty fucking good. This so, t- tell us the top three right now. Let's see if it breaks into the top three. Top three is four, three, one. That gives us that rules makes trip to Japan and reading comic books on your phone and is Pokey the best food money can buy. I'm it's, thinking. I'm it's thinking above this three. Is, yeah. What's two again? Comic books. What's one? Japan. I think it's. I think it's three. We can put it at three. I think it's three. Okay. Um, although, honestly, the conversation might have been better than the comic book one. Yeah. But we can leave it at three for right now and revisit it. Okay. So number three? Yeah. Yeah. And now the most recent episode, episode last week's 10. episode, Will yeah. Virtual Reality Save the oh, Movies? good episode. Um, I talked about <clears throat> that and... I talked about VR as well. We just both yeah, did. Yeah, right. So we did VR. a mega VR. So is that... It's a good topic, yeah. but because there was only one topic. Yeah, less value. So may, maybe that's, uh, I think it's four, but it's up, it's up against some heavy contenders. What is, what's, uh, what's four right now? The first episode. Yeah. Which yeah. was? Pokey and coffee. Pokey and, ah, uh, but Pokey is so good. Would but, you rather eat Pokey every day? Yeah. Or be able to play VR every day? Now, see, using your logic, I love coffee and pokey, so I would actually probably put this one under. But you also love VR and VR. I know. (laughs) I do love double VR, Uh, which, by the way, uh, I just found out I can can hack the Oculus Quest to play the modded Beat Saber songs again. That's cool. So I'm going to do that. Um, Okay. VR, VR, is it better than pokey coffee? I I would say no, because you can only do VR for so long. You can eat pokey forever. I'll, I'm putting it below Pokey. Yeah. Okay. So rank. Okay. So give rank us, ten. Yeah. We're going back. Rank ten. What's the number? I'm just making sure I have them all in here. All right. Number ten. Yep. 
Yeah. Is episode seven. Okay, show me episode seven. Episode seven is Sean's cat got out of the house. Okay, Sean's cat got out of the house. Definitive worst episode of that rules. Don't listen to it if you haven't. No, everyone should listen to all the episodes. Big. Okay, our producer says listen to all the episodes. And I've wow. After we go through this list, I've got a question for you. Um. Okay. Rank nine. Rank nine is episode six. Is Kingdom Come actually Jay Z's best album? And what did you talk about? Apple products, I think. Yeah, that might even be the worst. Episode. I think it is the worst episode. Actually, switch those. Yeah. All right. So switching episode six is the worst episode of that rules. <laughs> episode seven is close. <laughs> it's close. To the I the the Simba episode was good because we did a that sucks where Simba got out. Yeah. And then a that rules where Simba came back. It was a real bait and switch of an episode. Okay, what's the third worst episode? Third worst episode is episode number two. Oh wow that's what's the best best milk alternative yep hype milk okay. okay that seems fair so far then it is episode number eight okay wait a second something has gone horribly wrong here I'm telling you already episode eight is Genshin Impact and you talked about walking where well, where where's walking. no where but where's episode five you have episode five at six is that that's the next one? No. 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 Genshin Impact, I think, is fifth. Wait, hang on. What what what's the next one? The next one is Oh sorry. Episode eight. Yeah. Is We're looking Genshin. Yep. Episode five is the one above it. Okay, that makes sense. Episode five is Tony Hawk Remaster and Hanzo and Aoki. But I honestly think maybe Genshin's above that one. You want to switch it? Yeah, Genshin and so. Walking, I think, is better than the Tony Hawk episode. Okay. But where's the closet episode? Because closet. that should be below. Closet. closet episode should be rank. Closet episode seven, is, is my cat got out of the house. Oh. Yeah. That's like almost the bottom. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So so from from the bottom again. From the top, make it drop. From the <laughs> bottom, tell me the list. Six. <laughs> yeah. Seven. Yep. I wish he had the topics. Two. Yep. Five. Yep. Eight. What's eight? Genshin Impact. Next one. Ten. Okay, VR. Okay, now we're getting good. Now, so VR is that, is that top four? Yeah. So VR chip, right? VR and then peanut butt. Then yeah. Then P P B and J. Oh, oh, Pokey. Oh, Pokey. VR right. Pokey. Right. What's rank two? No, this no, is this is rank three. three. So this is this is this is chip and wait. This is v chip. VR is rank four. VR no no. No. Pokey and coffee is rank. Pokey and Coffee's four. Okay. Chip and PB and J is three. Yeah. Right? This is episode nine. Yeah. Yep. Um Reading Comics on Your Phone is two. Yeah. So and three. Japan. Yeah. And then up in Japan is one. Wow. What I, was reading comics on your phone? What was your topic? LCS? Yeah. Wow. Man, we got some fucking heaters. Yeah. It was also some real duds down at the bottom. We, now, where do we rank this episode? Work in progress. Where's this one going? This one? Oh, I'm going to let you guys know some heroes. They're about 20 minutes in. <laughs> well, okay. Here's, here's, here's what I'll say. Yeah, this episode's been half ad. <laughs> it's a half, half ad for our own show. Every, every 10 ep, every, so we're going to do 10 more. These ones are, are taken out of the list of episodes. Yep. Well, we're going to talk about some stuff, so maybe not. But every 10 episodes. Yeah, we have to rank it. The previous 10 episodes. Yeah. And then <clears throat> and at so, like 100 episodes, we rank <laughs> those episodes. Okay, so out of the next 10, preemptively. Yeah. This one's feeling like the worst of the bunch. We're you think so? We're getting the bad out now. <laughs> Here's what I think. Yeah. We've got some good episodes. Yeah. Do you think the show as a whole is good? No. Really? <laughs> um, no, I think the show as a whole is good because it, you know, it's kind of a mashup of a, of a lot of my favorite podcasts throughout the years, which are just yeah. like, you get to learn about something cool yeah. and something somebody's passionate about. Yeah. That's always good. Yeah. And uh, so I like that part of it. Yeah. Um, but I think sometimes we come with some real duds. Well, here's the some issue. Some real garbo. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give you some excuses. You want to blame coronavirus again? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. We can't go fucking do anything. 
And like I said, like I said to you at, like I said to you at breakfast this morning at uh, three thirty p.m. when I was eating cup noodles and you were eating spaghetti, <laughs> but we had both only been awake for twenty minutes. We should just make it a video game podcast because that's all we're. That's the only thing that we're. Or I said we should make it a league podcast because that is the only thing we're doing. Except we don't even do. We would just be talking about our solo, our solo Q games. Yeah. Because the, the point of this show was to be like, you know, what are we obsessed with in that week? But there's nothing to do in my fucking bedroom. But that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. You've there's got, stuff to do in my bedroom. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> you, can, you can do a part about this. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, I've got a topic for this week. We're doing topics? Yeah. We have the podcast only 20 minutes long. Because <laughs> it's, it's, we're just ranking stuff. No. My topic for this okay. week is... 50 Cent, for a couple reasons. One, last week, as you remember, 50 yeah. Cent endorsed Donald Trump. That was kind of dark. I almost had to had to cut him. But then this week, I wake up, Nick tells me 50 Cent now says, actually, just kidding. I don't have the science on this. Can you actually look up an article, Big Nick? Yeah, I, I also don't. I don't know what happened. Um, so while we find out the details on that, turns out, I mean, 50 Cent, the reason that, we, that I love 50 Cent, yeah. apart from Get Rich or Die Trying, is he's just the biggest troll on the internet. Mm-hmm. Like when he was trolling Floyd Mayweather, yeah. telling him how he couldn't read. Read a page of the Harry Potter book. Yeah. And, you know, he bought out all fucking jaw the rules. The first four or five rows of jaw rules. Yeah. I mean, he's just the thing. fucking man. Um, and he's, also, he's also a big reason that I like... Um, Sorry, he, he he's a big reason I like Chip because Jay's because Fifty Cent was just beefing with everybody in the early two thousands. That's true. And so is Chip. Both my favorite guys just <clears throat> spinning in a circle, firing their guns. <laughs> That's really um, bad. Yeah, and I, I like that you're bringing up Fifty Cent because in the original commercial for this yeah. show, yeah, we said that we were going to talk about yeah, get rich or die trying. Get rich or die trying. Um, and so that's really what I want to talk about because I feel like. I feel like there's a pretty good chance a lot of our listeners haven't really listened to that album. If I had to guess, I feel really? like oh, I feel like Cyberbones has. Cyberbones like, has. I feel like Jair has. Jair has. But listen, Sean and I, I, a lot of people do this, but Sean and I sometimes talk about albums that have no skips. Yeah. And a lot. Of, this is a this is a topic a lot of people cover, but that Get Rich or Die Trying is an album that we agree is a no skips. Yeah. I, I think if you're going to skip any, it's the singles and that's just unlucky. Cause they just got played so much. And here, especially when we were younger, like, but, but here's the thing. I wasn't really listening to them. I was though. So I, they're not old to me. Like I, I get that into club is like, not even in a club. It's P I M P for me. Oh, I, that music dude. video is just on all the time. I love that song. Really? Oh yeah. I would dude. I've said this on like every episode, every show we've ever done, but I would stay up watching MTV two, waiting for, P-I-M-P to co- the music video yeah. and Wangsta yeah. to come on. Wangsta's so good. So right. good, dude. All right. Big Nick's got, Big Nick's got some article. Right, so I have some details here. The initial tweet from 50 Cent said, what the... Well, here, put it, put it on the screen. Sure. Let me read it because your mic's not going to come through the actual audio version of the podcast. So the original tweet... From, oh, he didn't pull over. So the original tweet from 50 Cent said, what the fuck? Vote for Trump. I'm out. Fuck New York. The Knicks never win anyway. I don't care if Trump doesn't like black people. 62% are you out of your fucking mind? And that was uh, when he, that was when he supported Trump based on the Joe Biden's tax plan. His tax plan, which by the way is for people that make over 400 K a year. Yeah. Which 50 Cent is definitely falls into that bracket. Sure. Um, and so now what I, so now I, on the, he's, he's in bed with some white woman. Okay. Also, so he used to date Chelsea Handler, who's a comedian. Okay. Um, she then responded to him basically being like, uh, you need help. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then she went on Jimmy Fallon the night after, uh, let me find that where this article is like in shambles. Yeah. It's he chaos. dated Chelsea Handler. Yeah. Yes, for a little while. Uh, she said this right here, Sean. So he yeah, he doesn't want to pay sixty percent of taxes because he doesn't want to go from fifty cent to twenty cent. Uh, oh God! So he said that on Jimmy Fallon, or she said that on Jimmy. Oh, Fallon. and she said that she would be willing to have sex with him to change his mind. Right, uh, and he tweeted. Uh, oh what? This when he found out about it, 
another spin. Fuck Donald Trump. I never liked him. For all I know, he had me set up and had my friend Angel Fernandez killed. But that's history. Wall at Chelsea Handler at Jimmy Fallon. Then she replied to him and said, honey, does this tweet mean we can count on a vote for you for Joe Biden? I'm happy to discuss this privately. My phone number is still the same. Yours isn't. I've tried calling you. That rules. Okay. And uh, and so. Oh, so 50. So there's no confirmation. Okay, well, we'll take the wins where we can get them. Um, so, thankfully, he cleared his name. But Get Richard Die Trying for me was the first like hip hop album I really liked that wasn't an Eminem record. And obviously, I probably liked it because of the Eminem affiliation. But the album is just really like so fucking good. And I think some if you if you never listened to the album before and you've only ever heard like In the Club and you stopped listening to him after that, some I would say you gotta listen to Heat. He is like the best song in the whole album. I was going to talk about this. Dr. Dre made a beat out of gun sounds. It's so hard. It's just literally the best song. Um, Many Men is Many Men is the one single that never got burned out for me because that song is just like a masterpiece. I feel like that one got burned out for me later. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I don't. Hear- I don't know what from, but I remember hearing Many Men a lot, like I don't know, probably like eight years ago, and just being like, man, like. People were really playing that. Like, this is the song everyone wants to listen to now. Yeah, but you don't like you don't like lyrics though, and yeah. that's why that song is so good. Yeah, oh, I'm not saying it's a bad song. Yeah, I just heard it a lot more than the other songs. Um, no, Get Richard I Try and perfect album, really. It really and, is. And, you know, classic Dre production, mm. Eminem, just doing the Eminem thing on the production side. It's it's crazy how strong of an album. It is. Yeah. It's, it, it's special. And it's like, it, it, there's just so many, I think uh, there's, there's a lot of things. If you want to look at it from like an actual music pr- perspective, he was one of the first people that was like as hard as nails as he was, mm-hmm. who was also singing, singing and like making popular music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not like pop, like sugary and sync or whatever was around at the time, but like he was running the radio. Yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, that whole album has like, yeah. There was 21 Questions, Many Men, Into Club, PIMP, Massive Pop Appeal, Wanksta. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, I guess a lot more, I guess a lot more singles probably went to radio back then, but yeah. No, it was just like, and I think also like around that time, 50 Cent was just like, there was definitely a little bit of like, uh, it was like, you know, how do I, how do I put this? It was like, he was like a you little know, mythic. Is it like not even that? Like you almost like he was like like kind of like the bad guy in yeah. a way, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then he came out with fucking G Unit, and like yeah. that was even like another bit. That fucking record is crazy. Yeah. And I mean, unfortunately, I think right around the time he dropped the massacre, he just like nosedived because this happens with a lot of people. It's like they don't have money, they make a lot of great stuff, they get money, and they forget how to make <laughs> great stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but even like recently 50 cent put out a song. He had that, he had that collab with, uh, this other dude, I forget his name and six, nine, like obviously it kind of sucks. Six nines on the song, but 50 cents part is like, OG, like get Richard die trying 50 cent. Mm-hmm. And I was like, just keep doing that. 50 yeah. cent is one of the few rappers that like, he could be 50 and rap like how he rapped and he was 25. And I'd be like, awesome. That's keep true. doing that. Yeah. I remember like. Even even though I said I wasn't listening to it a lot, like I, there's no way to escape 50 Cent in the early mid 2000s. Yeah. Like I remember middle school, everyone was obsessed. Like, it, and it, it wasn't like I was living under a rock and didn't know. I just didn't listen to it as much because I was like only listening to punk music. Yeah. But you can go to a friend's house. I'd hear it in their car at their house, whatever. Like on the way to baseball or basketball or whatever, and. Just like the, like he really had this like legend about him, like, and including the gunshot sounds on yeah. many men, like, was it nine or 11 times he got nine, shot? Nine. He got, so he got shot nine times on at the beginning of many men. They have nine gunshot sounds happen as if he's getting shot. And then he, the, you know, they play many men, which is like the craziest, just part of an album to hear. And when you're, you know, 10 or 11, and your friend is like, yeah, I mean, he got you, like, you, it's just a lot of word of mouth because you don't yeah. have the Internet. You're young yeah. and your friend just says, yeah, this guy and you, you've been listening to the song and they go, yeah, he got shot like nine times. And you're like, holy, this dude is like, dude, this, this dude is like immortal or well, something. And honestly, one of the best things about many men and I, it's a line that still gives me chills today to think about. Yeah. Um, when he says, uh, 
I was put here for a real reason because he got hit like I got hit, but he ain't fucking breathing. I was like, oh my I, god, I have chills. Just Dude. I hear it in my head, and I have <laughs> like, chills. He's Still. just he's just so fucking good. And I'm looking at the track listing. Let me just let's just talk about the fucking bangers on this album. Yeah, I'll listen. Intro that's just the fifty cent, <laughs> the two quarters getting dropped, which is what happens on my stream when you donate money to me. Wow, which is really funny. That's cool. Um, what up, gangsta? Great song. Patiently waiting, featuring Eminem. Probably the first fifty cent song I really like listened to on purpose. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, wait, it says featuring Eminem, featuring somebody else. I gotta know who the second featuring is. It's probably Nate Dogg, right? Nate Dogg is just perma perma featured. Ah, uh, no, featuring Eminem twice. God damn it. Uh, Many men wish death in the club. High all the time. Now, high all the time is funny because I've never been into weed at all, but I was saying every word of that song. <laughs> Fucking love it. Uh, Heat, which is great. If I can't, the beat for If I Can't is so goddamn good. Play it Actually, a little bit. I have a, a, a this is illegal, but we'll do it oh, a little bro. bit. <laughs> That's all we got. Wow. Um, so that song is really funny. Uh, this is. I don't think, you probably don't even know the story, but when I was in. Me? Yeah. First time I went to India, uh, it was me, Madeline, Raja, and Divine all in Goa, which is like this like resort area. Sure. And uh, me and Divine were talking like in this in the group of us in this like little store and talking about. I was like, "What was the first rap music you ever listened to?" And he was like, "It was Fifty Cent." Somebody like brought a Fifty Cent mixtape in, wow. and I've never heard music before like this. And Without talking, no one said anything. We all started rapping if I can't at the same time, like me, Raja, and Divine. And I was like, something's going on here. 50, 50 cents in the fucking airwaves. Um, and I think that's fucking sick. Like, think about Divine's the biggest fucking rapper in India. And he got influenced by a 50 cent tape from like 2003. Uh, Bloodhound, not my favorite song, but it's pretty good with Young Buck. You don't have to skip it. Um, Back Down is really good. PIMP, really good. Like My Style featuring Tony Yayo, really good. Poor Little Rich, really good. 21 Questions, it's not my favorite song on the record, but it's really good. 21 Questions was cool because it was like, it was like, a, it was a romance song that wasn't like, you weren't like a pussy if you listened to it. You right, know? right, right. Because he was just, because he's saying real shit too. Like, you know, like if I didn't have my money, would you still love me? Mm -hmm. Which is a, a cool concept. Uh, don't Push Me. Featuring Lloyd Banks and Eminem. So fucking good. Gotta Make It to Heaven. So good. Wankster. So good. You Not Like Me is one of like the actual best songs in the record. And then Life's on the Line, which I think is actually one of the songs from his mixtape. Dude. Like, it's so, dude. And can we talk about the fucking album cover? The album cover dude, is. Dude, okay. Insane. So 19 songs, hour and nine minutes. But it. It just it doesn't feel like no. like there's there's albums there are albums that are over an hour long and it's a fucking slog yeah you're just like dude it's, this is filler it, there is no filler on this album it's because none of the beat the the album never slows down right it's just like hard which, the whole which, time which is a big thing for me like the kind of the flow and tempo of an album um and that's something I really appreciate maybe I'll do an episode on this Lemuria's get better. Mm. The way that album just ramps up the whole time is like yeah. crazy, but yeah, th this album like doesn't doesn't slow down at all, dude. And I, th the I album remember, cover. I remember going to Strawberries and seeing the album cover mm -hmm. and just being like, "Holy shit!" Like everything about Fifty Cent at that time. It's granted, I was like young and white, so probably more so for me. But he was just like so provocative. So like, the album art is him with a fucking Gucci belt on, massive ass chain, shirtless. And, and the, the bullet hole and the massive bullet hole <laughs> like uh that album is just so fucking good and i feel like i feel like i know a handful full of people who like really love the album but i wish that everybody loved the album because like you know there's there's some stuff and i've talked about this when i talk about this album before but there's some older albums that i just think are like if you didn't get into them you probably can't get into them like sure if you didn't listen to like wu-tang growing up yeah it's probably a little bit bigger of a hurdle to go back and listen to those albums and get into them mm -hmm. but this album sounds current like oh it does like and it, it's not it's to me it's not really like affected by like the tropes of the early 2000s right. hip-hop like and and here's the thing dr dre deserves a lot of credit yeah for a lot of these albums that came out on yeah. this label around that time because yeah. like the dude you know a lot of people like make jokes like you know where 
wears detox, yeah, whatever. Dr. Dre, you know, is a billionaire. He makes speeds. Like this dude is like, <laughs> this dude is in the conversation for best producer of all time. Yeah. Um, is like always considered top three, top five for producer. The dude is just a fucking genius when it comes to making hits. Yeah. From himself, Snoop Dogg, NWA, Eminem, 50 Cent, Kendrick. Like it. The game. The game. N- this shit doesn't stop. And that album for Dre production is like, if, I, and I, I could just talk about making beats all day, but you think about how different the sound is yeah. across all these artists. And he and Eminem just like nailed the 50 Cent sound. Like it wasn't yeah. just this Dre ripoff. It wasn't yeah. an Eminem ripoff. It yeah. really sounded like 50 Cent music. Yeah. It it didn't it what it didn't get muddy with everything else that was happening. Well, and I think it's because they played into his ability to like write these mm-hmm. little like even on on you not like me that whole chorus is sung. You know, and in fact, I feel like you can hear in Eminem songs the influence of 50 Cent. Just oh, yeah. like just how oh, much yeah. he was just singing and mm-hmm. like killing it at the time. So that's my that rules. That record is just like fucking perfect front to back. If you've never heard it, do me if you ever listened to it today. Can and, we listen uh, to it on the way home? Yeah, easily. And uh just let me know what you think, dude. I want to listen to it right now. Well, what's your that rules? My that rules is cactus cooler. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yep. So when we uh when we were doing the the little skit that we did announcing HQ season two, which included uh, this show that rules. Uh, we knew it was gonna. We were gonna be covering topics that were drastically different from each other. And the sorry about my voice cracking. I'm 13. Uh, the the example I came up with for the little skit was, you know, we're gonna talk about get Richard or die trying and cactus cooler. And if you don't know how we're gonna cover it all, come find out. And so I figure on the episode you talk about that, I might as well talk about cactus cooler. Now here is sort of a little mini, even mini version of a mini that sucks. Uh, for me and Cactus Cooler, it started to like give me, and I t- it actually ties in with my that rule that sucks from the beginning of of the episode. Uh, I don't drink soda much anymore, and Cactus Cooler like was giving me migraines the last few times I had it, oh. which is a bummer. Don't know if it's like the sugar or the caffeine, if there's caffeine in it or whatever. But um, I haven't had soda this calendar year mm. since January. I haven't had soda. We're in uh, October now. Mm. Um, I did no soda for like two years during college at one point, which was cool. And then I just like started having Dr. Pepper again. Not, I'm not like against soda. I just like prefer to have water. Mm. Um, like I talked about earlier, I feel like I get dehydrated a lot. So I just try to drink water and I get migraines a lot. So I try to stay away from, from migraine stuff. Um, our producer's trying to eat Skittles, man. But, um, Cactus Cooler is still such an excellent drink uh when so sean and i now currently live in los angeles but we can't he brought me to los angeles to work on a music video with the the artist that he mentioned raja um earlier during his when he was talking about being in goa when she was uh in la a few years ago when she was living here he came and shot a music video and then he came back home and was like dude we i gotta bring you to la like you're gonna love it i'm thinking about moving there i want you to move there with me but like we're, we're gonna shoot another video come uh come with me and we'll shoot this video and we fly here do we rented a car um, how are we in a car mike dravis's car mike dravis's car. we borrowed mike dravis's car mike dravis friend of the show always surprised when we bring him up but he's our friend so <laughs> stop being surprised and sean drove me to like as soon as we got there big nick go to my instagram right now i think the picture's on the my picture instagram. i think it's on mine too but we went to the ovo store yeah because we just had like time to kill yeah and on what road is the ovo store on? fair melrose fairfax it's on one of those the shopping melrose. instagram roads whatever it's on melrose, it's on melrose. Yeah. um we stop at this gas station i think it was a shell station yeah and sean's like you have to try cactus school you'd been talking about it for weeks And we go and we get it. And I'm so excited because he's been talking to me about it. It sounded like it was going to be perfect. The name, listen to the name, Cactus Cooler. What's better than that? We, I like the name so much and the drink so much. When we were trying to come up with a name for this show, I was trying to make a play on Cactus Cooler. I forget what my ideas were, but I was trying to play off that. You find the picture? He's, he's close. Big Nick's close. Well, if you see the picture of Fitz, scroll up. It's, no, it should be up. It's got to be after that Is it only on my Instagram? I'm I'm pretty sure I posted. I guess I could have archived it though. Yeah, I guess I archived it. See if it's on mine. Or what's your name? 
ex Nick Lawler, unfortunately. Um, and and so I was trying to come up with that's just how much we love Cactus Cooler. But dude, the first there are a couple things in this world that I tasted for the first time, and I'll never forget what that thing tasted like. One of which is a sushi roll from this place near the college that I went to called Snow Mountain. Mm. And it was the best sushi I've ever had still to this day. The first taste of it, I can remember perfectly. It was just like the best, the best tasting food I had had up until that point. And the, definitely the best sushi I've ever had. But Cactus Cooler, easily. Go up, that's Boston. No, it would have been earlier. No, oh, you get I, like a big purge of your Instagram. And the Cactus Cooler didn't make it? Uh, no, there's a picture of you with all the just sitting. Yeah. Jewish children. Yeah. Did. Insane. Damn, go down a little bit. Dude, I went to the bottom. <laughs> what Damn, if I send I've, it on Discord? Cause I've got it. <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna he's gonna send it on on. Well, actually, hang on. My my Discord's not logged in there. I don't know. It's anyway, okay. well, I'll post the picture in the Discord. Yeah. So all of you that go to the Discord can see see the cactus cooler picture. Um, the fr- dude, the first sip. I want to thank you again so much for introducing me to Cactus Cooler. Yeah, the no first problem. sip was just like so good. And the whole trip, we were here for like a week and a half, a week oh or whatever. The whole, we were just like fucking sucking these things down, dude. Like, yeah. And what's funny is I don't, it's not that I don't like them now, but I think I maybe went a little too hard too early. <laughs> Look at this photo. Big Nick, why don't you hit desktop for me? How good is this? This is unrelated, but so this, I, this, I, this I play drums. A- um, I play drums, and at, at in this picture, I was playing drums for my like punk band, um, and my from my dad that says why you look so fucked up. My dad actually <laughs> left two comments. One just said dude dot dot dot, and the other says why why so you look so fucked up. Why he probably meant why do you look so fucked up? <sighs> Listen, I was playing a punk band. Every song was really fast. Me and Evan Kelly just you know shredding for like three people that were in the crowd at this fucking like church gymnasium and it was hot six years ago and i've got there's more pictures that look like this i think i took that i've got you sean took this photo dude that's and now i now i look worse honestly i wish i looked like that still devin liked it that's funny um (laughs) yeah maybe you went a little too hard i also like I might need might need a cactus cooler now that I'm talking about it, but I was thinking about not doing it for the year. But fuck it, it's cactus cooler. <laughs> um, fuck it. Uh, if you go to my Twitter, I my oh. so so Sean and I. So okay, we're on this trip with Raja. We're sucking cactus cooler down. We're getting like cans of it. We're getting bottles of it. We're getting it however we can get it because we don't have it back home in Massachusetts. Yeah. Dude, that was Does so it funny. sound like we have it back home in Massachusetts? We don't. It's got cactus in the name. Dude, that's actually so funny because when Devin's ex-girlfriend moved to to uh, uh, Massachusetts from Los Angeles, uh, she was like, you guys don't have cactus cooler here? And we're like, I know. What the fuck is that? Right. Yeah. Uh, so and we did we bring any home or we couldn't because of the plane? Uh, mm, we tried. We somebody, maybe brought some. Somebody shipped me cactus cooler like for Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Was some, it Molly maybe? Somebody. Was it Shelby? Because her and Dev were here. I don't know. Anyway, Somehow cactus cooler showed up. We didn't have cactus cooler, and we so we go back home. And as as I mentioned, the trip was to you know one shoot this video for Raja, but also Sean trying to convince me to move to LA, and he made me drink the cactus cooler. So like, obviously I was <laughs> obviously I was going to move to LA <laughs> for the cactus cooler. But so then we move, and it dawns upon us. <laughs> That we can just buy. We can just get Cactus Cooler. So, so other. Here's the thing about about LA, and you'll if you listen to the HQ cast, you'll remember. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, you'll remember that you have to buy a fridge when you move to LA. <laughs> and so Sean bought a fridge, and th- this is a true picture. Th- click on it. No, but click on it. This is the. Okay, you can't see below it. I promise you, this was the only thing in our fridge. It was so I went, ridiculous. I went to the store and I bought a 12-pack of Cactus Cooler the, like the day that we got the fridge put in. People installed it? I don't remember. Yeah, we, yeah. Mo- yeah. No, we, um, we lived in the third floor of the apartment. Yeah, we didn't go upstairs to the fridge. Um, and I went to the store. It was the first, it, I needed it. And I got a 12-pack of Cactus Cooler and I put it in the fridge and I was so happy. And I was like, man, this, as happy as I am and as unashamed as I am about this, 
I need to document the fact that the only thing in my fridge is a 12 pack of cactus cooler. And that picture's three plus years old now. <laughs> cactus cooler. Pa- the cactus cooler. Cactus cooler. <laughs> yeah, and no, cactus cooler. Dude, so, for, so for those of you that don't know, all you know about it is that it's called a cactus cooler and it's only available in Southern California probably. It's, or- it's an orange and pineapple drink. Mm. Two excellent flavors. Yeah. Man, it's so good. I'm so sad it gives me a migraine. But I took Excedrin earlier, so maybe I could get away with it. I think I... Okay, what's your preferred vessel for Cactus Cooler? I think I like the can. I like the bottle more. You like the bottle? It's it's probably a nostalgia thing, but the uh, the first time I ever had it was out of the bottle. I... So did I. But maybe I just like canned soda more. Canned soda has a thing for me. But anyway, I haven't had it in so long Mm. that maybe I can't answer that question. Mm. Dude, and maybe it, now I need the other thing is that one. the bottles are more easily accessible. Like when we used to go to Dev's house, yeah, there was that little liquor store, yeah, where you could buy the bottles it, it, across from the uh, from the slot. From the slot, yeah. Okay, here's what I'll say. I don't. Excuse me. I don't like two liter bottle of it. Yeah, I like having just the one. Yeah. Little bottle, single serving. You drink it. I don't like having to put it with ice, but then I wasn't. I was. We had the two liter in the fridge, but I. I just like the. Yeah. You something. just get the amount that you need. Yeah. The, I don't want to put the, it in a cup. The two liter was too gluttonous. Too um, gluttonous, and I just. I'm. I don't, I'm not going to drink it out of that, and I don't want to put it in a cup. Yeah. And I don't want to put it in with ice. You don't want to go wild style, just like fully. Maybe. Just I, maybe slam the two liter. Maybe I'm going to relapse on cactus <laughs> cooler. Get the two liter. If you're going to break soda edge, you may as well just. <laughs> Just go all give me way. give me the IV with cactus cooler in it, dude. Okay. And and listen, e- even though I haven't had soda, there are sodas I like. I think Dr Pepper is an excellent soda. Do I like cactus cooler more than Dr Pepper? Probably. How about this? Okay. First viewer to send us a photo. Yeah. Drinking a cactus cooler. So okay. this, is, this is unfortunately limited to California. Unless people. unless you're a real viewer and you fly here to do this. First viewer to send us a photo drinking cactus cooler and listening to Get Rich or Die Trying. We'll get these Manscaped shears. That's pretty good. How about that? We could put that on Twitter. So first viewer. Well, no, we're not put on Twitter. This is a, that rule is exclusive. You got to listen to the show. Provide some value for listening right now. Uh, we'll send you these shears. So post in the Discord, tweet us, tag us, whatever. We'll send this to you. Because Cactus Cooler is great. You should experience it. You can. Um, it's an Amazon's choice. Okay. So for those of you at maybe, home. Maybe because we're in California, though. <sighs> <laughs> but maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Inflatable cactus cooler holds approximately that many cans. Party okay, accessories. That's close. It's a, He's dude. just on Amazon now. Um, I think we should. I think we should move on to that rules too. That our, rules too. Our is, new our new segment where we talk about things that rule a lot, but we don't have a lot to say about them. This one. Oh, it's a bad. It's a bad description. No, that's exactly what it is. Like, like I want to talk about that I'm. My my that rules too is for Ian. Why not? He's our editor, and he also edits for Bob Wolf, and he runs an anime podcast. His uh, group collective just broke up because the one of the guys got a job at Game Informer and can't really commit to doing a weekly podcast anymore. But Ian fucking rules. Like yeah. he is so talented, and he is my favorite thing about Ian honestly is that he works really hard. Like yes. when, when he is like set on something, he just goes out and does it. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you guys don't know Ian, you're not familiar with him, go check him out on Twitter at Ian. Why not? He was doing a series called off the bean where he sat there and just like talked about whatever, whatever he, he was talking talk about. about. No. He's got a great podcast called a plus anime where he talks about anime. I think he's like probably, I think he's like the most knowledgeable person about anime that I know. Yeah. I think, I, I think I'll give that to him. I am. Um, um, Ian, so Ian, for those of you that know and those of you that don't know, um, edits some stuff for the HQ boys, an honorary yeah. HQ boy, just not on camera as much for us, but on, on his own camera for sure. Yeah. But he never fails to make me laugh. No, Ian Which is, I love. Like, he takes our con, our, a lot of our content is funny yeah. because of Ian. <clears throat> yeah, 100%. We, like, I, we got to give credit where it's due and it's overdue for this dude because we're just a bunch of bumbling fools over here and he just like puts puts the pizzazz on our videos that it needs to be a watchable thing yeah and and i the thing i i I really applaud ian for and i think this year is kind of full of a lot of this for him like he was working at a um he's working at a preschool he really wasn't enjoying himself and he Mm -hmm. was like yo can you teach me how to like really edit Mm -hmm. so i gave him a couple tools and now he just like edits full-time for like a massive fucking youtuber and 
not only that, but Ian now has an opportunity to do some really cool stuff on his own with A plus anime. Mm-hmm. So I'm super excited to, to see what he does, but that's, that's my, that rules too. I was just thinking about Ian this morning, listening to the final OKB's OK podcast. And I'm like, he always kind of downplays himself and like his talent and whatever. Yeah. But I think I want to give Ian a little shout out. No, that that's a good shout out. And I was texting him uh, yesterday and he was showing me some stuff he's been working on. And I'm like, so, so excited for him. I just, even though OK Beast is done now, I was telling him that I really think he's going to make like some of the best yeah. shit that he's ever made. Just and, and that was just based on like a screenshot of a thing he showed me and I yeah. a loose idea he had. And I was just like, dude, this is like I'm so excited for this. Yeah. What well, you got about rules, too? Um, my headache went away. That'll do it. <laughs> a little. That's, <laughs> that's like a super mini that rules, too. Well, no, I, <laughs> hold on. Give, give me 10 slow seconds. OK, I've, I've got I've got one that I couldn't do a whole episode on. Let's hear it. And I kind of talked about it on the HQ cast. OK, I want to give a shout out. Now, I feel like I should give a shout out to someone. I'm not going to do that. The sh- Technically, if this was a shout out, it would be to Tim Burton. <laughs> um, here's the thing. I don't like scary stuff. And I talked about how I watched Chubby Halloween, the new Adam Sandler movie, 10 out of 10. Check it out. It's on Netflix, Netflix original. Because it allowed me to get into the Halloween spirit mm-hmm. without being scared, uh, shitting in my pants, pissing in my pants, screaming like a baby. Screaming in my pants. <laughs> screaming in my pants like a baby. And so the other night I watched Sleepy Hollow, 1999 film, Tim Burton, Johnny Depp. Yeah. Thinking about watching Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetle, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Uh, just here's what I like. I like things that are like spooky. Yep. But not scary. Okay. Especially at this time of year. And I think Tim Burton. Mm-hmm. Nails that aesthetic. Mm. So shout out to him. Okay. Because I don't I can I can lay in bed, get in the Halloween spirit, and not piss. All right then. <laughs> Well, everybody, thanks for hanging out for episode 11 of That Rules. Hope you liked our ranking. If you le- if you disliked it or you disagree with it, leave it in the comments below. True. As always, don't forget, we love Manscaped. You can yep. go to manscaped.com slash HQ and use code HQ20, and I'll get you 20% off and free shipping on the literal only men's grooming product worth buying on the internet. True. If you want to shave your nuts, if you want them to smell nice, if you want to trim your nose hairs, go to manscaped.com slash HQ, get yourself the performance package kit. That's going to get you everything you need. Literally one stop shop, twenty mm. percent off and free shipping when you mm. use the code HQ twenty. Cool. Also, also go to espionagevr.com. He, what is he releasing right now? Does he have stuff? They up? just finished the, the Resident Evil Biohazard. It, yeah. Ha, he, I think he's relaunching Silent Hill, right? Or did he just do that? I, he did that too. I think he did that. I think the oh. next thing is the Monkey game. Ape Escape. Is there another no, Monkey no, game? No, no, no. Super Monkey Ball. Manhunt. Oh, Manhunt too. Oh. He used it, but he hasn't. I, I thought someone asked what the next thing's going to be, and it's going to be Monkey Ball. Hmm. But maybe, I, but that was just like a he asked Instagram what they're thinking about, and they were like, what's the next espionage release? Hmm. Well, you can go to espionagevr.com, use code HQ15 to get you some of the best video game shirts on the net. And as always, thank you to Elgato for giving us the gear we need to make great stuff for you. We'll see you on Wednesday for the HQ cast. Peace. <laughs>